Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a randomly flickering or flashing light to put into your game, sort of like a horror vibe. So when you're walking down a corridor or something, random lights will turn on and off at random times. So let's get started. And now for this, I'm going to be using the starter content light and my own audio, although you can use your own obviously, so your own 3D model for the light, your own audio, whatever. So first off, I'm going to just find a corner like this and then build up a little room so that it's nice and dark in there. So again, for this, I'm going to using the start content. So now that I've got a box like this, just so that it's really dark in here so the light works better, I'm also just going to move the player start in there so that it easily spawns a player in there. Now you don't have to do this, you can just right click on the floor and then do play from here, but just for ease I'm just going to move it so I can just quickly press play every time. So once you've built that, what you're going to want to do is find your light static mesh. So again, mine's in the start content under props, and I'm just going to be using the ceiling lamp like this. So don't drag and drop it in. What we're going to do is create a new blueprint. So go to so right click, go to blueprint class, and then make an actor and call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it lamp BP. Now let's open this up and also make sure that you select the static mesh for the light that you want to use. Now go back into the blueprint and then on add component in the top left, do static mesh and then it should be there, the lamp that you've chose, like that. Perfect. And I'm going to keep it there so that the top of it is where the constraint axis is so that I can move it around from there and then let's go add another component in the top left and get a light and I'm going to do a spotlight as a sort of pointing down so I don't want it to point light where it be all around I want it to just come out of these of the gap where it is there so if I press E to rotate it move it so it's pointing directly down and then just move it to the right position like so and then I can change the radius of the light over here in the right to make it just fit that a little better, like so. I think that's good. And I'll just up the intensity to 10,000. See if that looks good. So let's compile that, close it, and put it in the scene just to see what it looks like. Do the blueprint, you move it up, and there you go. There's the light working perfectly fine. So again, modify this to how you want, but for now, for story purposes, this is fine for me. I'm just gonna actually up the intensity just a little bit. I'll just put it to 15,000. Compile and test this. And there we go, that's much better. So now what we're gonna do is import our flickering sound effect. So you can download it in the description below or use your own one, but if you're using mine, just drag and drop it in. I would put it in a sound effects folder, but for the tutorial purpose, I'll just leave it in here as well. But you'll want to keep it all organized. So once you've done that, keep it selected and go back into your blueprint. And then from here, go to the event graph and go off the event tick. And off the event tick, let's get a delay. And then for the duration, what we're gonna do is get a random integer and just plug that in there and it should automatically convert it. And for the max value, you can set it to whatever you want. So this is just how frequent it will do it. So if you set it to something higher like 50, then it can be anything between one and 50 seconds long. But for this, I'm just gonna set it to 10 so we can easily see it. And after the delay, Let's just get a reference to our light just by drag and drop it in from there, from the top left up there, and then just simply drag off it and set the visibility, and then hook that into the delay there, and keep the visibility as nothing so that it turns it off, essentially. And then from there, set another delay, keep it at 0.2. This just means that it will actually turn off and on, because if there isn't a delay, it will just do it instantly, so you won't notice it. And off there, set the visibility again, so I'm just copy and paste that plug it in, but this time we're setting it to visible so that now the light is essentially turning on again. And then after that, let's just do play sound at location. And for the asset, click this arrow here, but just put in your light. And then for the location, go off, this, go off the light and get world location. And then plug that into the location there. Then what we're actually gonna do to make this sound a bit better, so you can keep it as that, but what we're gonna do to make it better is right click it and do create queue, just create the sound queue for it and open it up. And this is where you can put in multiple ones. So if you want it to be different each time, you can put in multiple sounds and then get a random and put that into a modulator. But this is fine for me, but for just the one sound, but what I am gonna do is override the attenuation, which means that it doesn't play everywhere. It just plays in a certain radius. So if we close that and drag the cue in, you can see that in this circle here is where you'll hear it and this is where it will start to fade out. 
So I think for now this is fine, but again, change this for however loud you want it to be. So now let's go back in here and then change this to the Q rather than just the sound. And then that should be good. So let's hit compile and test this. And there we go, now I'm in here. And as you see, the light is turning on and off randomly and it made the noise as well. So if we just wait again, there you go, it turned off. And again, it does it at random times, so it's not consistently every two seconds or every five seconds, so the player will be able to see it's looping. This just does it at random times. So it does it after one second, then after five seconds, and after 15, after two. It all depends on the maximum value you set for it. So if you want it to be less frequent or more often, then you simply just change this max value here in the random integer. I think that'll be it for this video because we got it to do everything that we wanted it to do. If I hit play here, we can just see that it will turn off at random times. And if we have multiple, actually as well, we test that, that they won't both just turn off at the same time. So they should both turn off differently. So we got it to do everything we wanted to do. They turn off at random times with random intervals in between, not both at the same time as well and it plays a sound effect as it does it as well. So again, you can modify this for however you want, change the different static meshes, change the audio, change how frequently it does it, and all that good stuff. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you out, and if it did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.